Do you think you're going to stick with ocean stuff, or after after Racing Extinction, will you? I mean, clearly you seem dedicated to continuing on this path. So will you? The next film I'm working on is a film about plant-based athletes. You know, the, the, some of the the world the world's strongest guy is a vegan. Uh, we were with just we were yeah. we were just with Scott Zurich on the Appalachian Trail. He, you know, this is the probably the world's most accomplished ultra runner. He just ran the Appalachian Trail 46 days, equivalent to two marathons a day over a trail, and he's a plant-based diet. You know, so, uh, nine-time champ, world champion arm wrestler, is a vegan. So we're we're trying to dispel this myth that you know to be a man you have to eat meat. Yeah. And so this is actually being executive produced by James Cameron. James and Susie Cameron. Uh, he makes films too. But good, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a, it, it is kind of, ocean, it, it sounds off track from what, you know, the mission statement of, of my business is, but, you know, if you want to save the oceans, it's you got to change, you, know, you can't, you know, be trying to, you know, put fences around reefs, you have to, you know, protect acidification, and the biggest, the biggest, the raising of meat for human consumption causes more greenhouse gases than all the, you know, the, than all the emissions from the entire transportation sector. So if you want to save the oceans, you know, you have to get people onto a plant-based diet. So that's what we're doing with the next film. So we're making, it's going to be a fun film. I don't know what to say about it. It's like when you have these super athletes, you know, these are really aspirational guys. Like, you know, the, the, the arms of Alexis Vavuda is like, it's like my, th you know, bigger than my thighs. And the guy's a vegan. It's like, you know, how does he, you know, so I think a lot of guys will be curious, like, how does, how does he do it? You know, Scott Jurek is like, you know, the guy is just, you have more strength, more endurance. You know, there's a little, it's, a, it's a great story. Yeah, it First, seems totally like the intuitive next thing. So yeah, you're you're really attacking like the actual part of the problem. Like yeah, that, and then, then the question is like, how do you make that st story you know, intrinsically sounds like it might be dull or uninteresting or too much or too, too scary or uh, into something as entertainment? And I think that's where we come in. It's like that's what we do good.